Welcome to Journey to the Cure. Every month, we'll sit down with scientists from the Hepatitis B Foundation and the Baruch S. Blumberg Institute to talk to you about hepatitis B and efforts to find a cure for hepatitis B. There's still a long way to go, but we're here to walk you through our journey. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Journey to the Cure. So today I have with me Maureen Kamishki. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Christine. Um, can you tell us about what the most common way that hepatitis B is transmitted? In the U.S., the most common mode of transmission is sexual transmission, mm -hmm. but that's not the case in other countries. But one of the most common modes of transmission, depending on where you are in the world, is mother-to-child transmission. Okay. Um, in the United States, a hepatitis B vaccine is recommended for all babies. Um, they would get start with a birth dose mm -hmm. of the vaccine, and they would complete the series. And outside of the U.S., WHO recommends the birth dose of the hepatitis B vaccine within 24 hours, and of course with completion of the series um, within you know the three to four shot series. In the U.S., if a baby is born to a mother with hepatitis B, mm -hmm. if they find out that the mom has hepatitis B, it's really important that the mother gets additional tests right. to determine if they have a really high viral load. Mm -hmm. So these moms would uh, get the E antigen test and get the viral load test, and if they have a really high viral load, then they would they might be considered uh, for treatment with an antiviral. Right. At that point, they would be referred to a hepatologist. Mm -hmm. So, is there any type of precautions that mothers need to make if they do know that they have hepatitis B? Yes, if a woman learns that she has hepatitis B, um, there are a couple of things that need to happen, and of course, they need to happen in a timely manner. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's why it's, it's really important to be identified early in your pregnancy if you find out that you have hepatitis B. If possible, it's great to be referred to a hepatologist mm -hmm. or, you know, with a doctor that has right. more experience treating hepatitis B. So that way um, the mother can learn if they are highly infectious because a woman that has a really high viral load, has a lot of virus in the blood, mm -hmm. they're more likely to um, perhaps fail that prophylaxis of the of the birth dose and the H big, mm -hmm. so they might need. It's possible that they might need uh, an antiviral during the last trimester right. of their pregnancy, mm -hmm. and that is very effective at preventing uh, hepatitis B transmission to right. the baby uh, for those for those women with the high viral mm -hmm. loads. There are some countries with a pentavalent vaccine. Can you tell us more about what that is? It's mm -hmm. a combination vaccine, which includes the hepatitis B vaccine. And the problem with the pentavalent vaccine is that the first dose is given at six weeks. Mm -hmm. It can't be given at birth or within 24 hours okay. of birth. So the problem is that that means that there's six weeks where the baby isn't protected. Mm -hmm. So it's very important um, within that first, first six weeks of life, mm -hmm. they could be infected, you know, unknowingly infected, and if they were, then they would remain chronically infected. So it's important for them to get that birth dose. If you start with that birth dose, then you know for sure that the baby's been protected. Mm -hmm. um, and this is really important. Waiting six weeks, that's too long. If it's not within 24 hours, you want it within 24 hours okay. uh, of birth, or else there won't be the protection needed. A lot of countries don't have HBIG, Right. Um, and you know that is recommended in the United States, but that's that's not everywhere widespread globally. So that's why it's important to know about uh, an elevated viral load because antivirals are available in other countries. So mm -hmm. that's another option. Okay. Be sure to join us on our next episode of Journey to the Cure. Just wanted to thank Maureen again for all of her time and all of her efforts in conveying such wonderful information around the world. Yay. Thank you.